In this video, I'm going to show you this phone agent receptionist that has fully replaced a $50,000 real receptionist because this one agent can check available times, book appointments and qualify leads and send emails to our business owners that we're providing this automation to. And this is one of the easiest automations that you guys can build and deliver to clients that actually need it. In this example, we built it for a dental office that has 50 different locations, but you can sell this exact same type of workflow to a bunch of small businesses in blue collar, like electricians, plumbers, construction companies, doctor offices, and the list goes on. And you can sell this for $500 a month. And the beautiful thing is, once you know how to build voice agents like the one I'm gonna show you in this video, you're gonna be able to build them really, really fast. In this video, guys, I'm gonna be giving you the full blueprint to this workflow, but I'm also gonna show you how I'm gonna build it from scratch. I'm actually gonna try and speed run this build as fast as I possibly can, just to show you how quickly you can actually launch these agents to your clients once you learn any and end workflows. My name is Kev and my AI agency is called Creator OS. We help businesses scale their social presence with AI automations and then we help streamline their business operations. And this workflow is a perfect example of a business operation that we have completely streamlined. So if you want that full blueprint, just head over to the link down below. It's the No Code Academy where I give you guys all of my blueprints, my code bases and my courses. So you guys can learn how to build your own AI agencies and your own AI SaaS. But other than that guys, let's get right into building. So for our phone agent guys, we're gonna be using Vapi to set this up. So the first step is to actually head over to Vapi and get our first phone agent set up for this workflow. So I'm in the Vapi dashboard. I'm gonna hit assistance. I'm gonna click create new assistant and we're gonna start with a blank template. I'm gonna go create. Now for the model, I'm gonna keep it as the GPT-40 cluster for now. Soon we'll switch it over to GPT-5. So now for the system prompt, I'm just gonna open up this dental assistant prompt that we have saved. We're gonna grab this snippet here, and we're gonna paste it into the system prompt section. Now this is gonna instruct everything that we actually need the workflow to complete in terms of asking the user questions and all that fun stuff. From there guys, we are going to immediately publish this voice agent, and we're gonna give it a phone number in a sec, but first we gotta go and give it some tools. So the first tool name guys is gonna be called Qualify Lead Dental Clinic, and this workflow grabs the information that is needed to qualify the lead before actually looking for appointments or booking in appointments. And so I'm gonna open up the JSON prompt for the Qualify Lead and the information that we're gonna be getting is, are they a new patient? What is their reason for visiting? And what is their insurance provider? We're going to go into the parameters on this tool. We're going to click visual editor, and we're going to paste in that schema, and we're going to click save. Let's add our second tool. This tool is going to be called book appointment. You guys also got to be careful with the capitalization. You want that second word to be capitalized so that the workflow works properly. And I'm going to open up the dental appointment booker JSON. We're going to go grab this. We're looking for the client name, the start date, and the end time for the actual appointment that that the user wants to go. We're gonna paste that in, we're gonna click save. And now we just have to add one more tool. And this tool is the check availability, which is gonna actually check the schedule of your clients to actually see what times they have available for this new appointment. And so we're gonna go back into this prompt templates and we're gonna grab the check availability JSON and we're gonna scroll down to the parameters. We'll go to the visual editor and we'll paste that in. Cool. So now we can open this up, we can click save. And the only thing that is left for these tools is to actually give it the server URL. And so what we gotta do is actually fire up the server on N8N to get that server URL. So the last step that we have to do inside of this VAPI dashboard is to head back to our agent, which is Elliot. We need to scroll down to the part that says tools and we need to give this agent the tools that we just built. So we're gonna give it the check availability, the book appointments and the qualified lead dental clinic. And now we can click publish. Now this agent is basically set up to go. The only thing that it needs is the server URLs to send the actual tool to. So now guys, we're gonna open up N8N and I'm just gonna head over to the Academy. I'm gonna go and find the inbound phone receptionist agent. We're gonna find Kev's dental OS agent. We're gonna download that. We're gonna go to the top right hand. We're gonna click import from file and we're gonna go and select that file that we just got, and there we go. So now you guys are gonna start exactly with what I showed you at the beginning of this video, and we have the webhook set up. And so what you guys gotta do next is head into the webhook, switch this to production URL, and copy the production URL link. Now we can save this workflow. We can unpin the VAPI webhook here so it can actually receive information. We'll save it again. All right, so now that our automation is set up to start receiving the, the requests from our phone agent, we're gonna now activate the entire workflow. And the only things that you guys will have to do at this stage is connect your Google Calendar to this or your client's Google Calendar. In this case, I used this email here. And then you're gonna to wanna to use the Google Calendar in this step as well and the Gmail. 
And then this entire workflow is gonna work. Now, once you guys have the workflow set up, you can then start storing it in the operating system, right? So we have these two database nodes that actually store the lead in the operating system. So the lead, when it's actually booked in, actually just looks like this for our clients that we're selling to because our clients are non-technical and they wanna see a normal dashboard. So the next step here, guys, is to open up the VAPI webhook tool call. We're gonna go switch this to production URL. We're gonna copy the URL. And now we can head back to our VAPI dashboard. So what I'm doing with this webhook URL, guys, is I'm just adding it to the server URL of each of these agents so that they have access to that endpoint and they can send their information there. So the last step here, guys, is to grab that phone number. So we just bought this phone number here for the dental OS receptionist. So we're going to now give it a call. 512-357. Thank you for calling. Welcome to Dental OS. How may I help you today? Hi, I'm looking to book an appointment. I can definitely help you with that. First, are you a new or an existing patient? New patient. Perfect. Welcome to Dental OS. I can definitely help. Okay. What is the reason for your visit today? E.g. routine checkup and cleaning, toothache, consultation. Routine checkup. Got it. Routine checkup. And who is your dental insurance provider? If you don't have insurance, say self-pay. Self-pay. Thanks. Got it. You're a new patient here for a routine checkup and your self-pay. No insurance. I'll send that info now. I can now look for an available time for you. Which day and time works best for you? Uh, let's try and do Friday morning. This Friday morning. Great. Friday morning. Just to confirm, you mean Friday, August 15, 2025 in the morning, correct? Which yep. Time, which time window do you prefer? Early 8 to 9.30 a.m., mid 9.30 to 11 a.m., or late morning, 11 to 12 p.m.? Let's do late morning, 11 to 12 p.m., please. Kev here. I see you want the 11 a.m. appointment Friday, August 15, 2025, for a routine dental appointment as a new self-pay patient. I'm ready to finish booking. Can I have your full name exactly as you'd like it on the appointment? Uh, Daniel G. Your appointment is all set for Friday, August 15, 2025, at 11 a.m. for a dental appointment. We look forward to seeing you. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. So just like that, guys, I was able to show you how the automation was checking the different routes depending on where the conversation is currently at. So at the beginning of the conversation, the agent sent the lead information right here to the qualified lead data. And then that populated inside of our operating system. And then after the agent qualified the lead, it then checked the available times to actually book in the appointment and make sure that the user had the available times to book in this lead. And so in a nutshell, guys, that is the speed run of building the workflow that can replace a $50,000 a year receptionist for any type of local business or service-based business. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.